Okay, so we've just seen the first rehearsal of Croatia, and uh, I think that uh, and it was a lot of like buzz going around about her dress, and that's what everyone is going to talk about. And I think the dress is like like the entire thing about that is go it's going to overshadow her song. Her song is great, her vocals are great, but I think that uh, there's uh, so much else going on in her show that's uh, that, that's going to take away focus from the song. Uh, otherwise, other than that, it's a perfect song, and her chances of qualifying is, uh, I'd say, 50-50. That's all about it. I just saw the um, Croatian uh, rehearsal, and uh, actually, it's uh, before the contest, it was one of my favorites. It still is, in a kind of a way, but I wasn't that impressed about the rehearsal. The dress, everybody is talking about the dress. I'm not sure it's the best thing. Uh, and the vocally, mm, a bit shaky. Uh, I will hope that Croatia will have to improve for the next rehearsal, and good luck. You will have to uh, need it. Uh, what can I tell about Croatian song this year? Actually, uh, when I heard it the first time, for the first time uh, on my iPhone, I didn't like it, absolutely didn't like it, and uh, it was in my list on the last place. And now, when I heard it here and I saw it here on the screen, I can say that uh, it it sounds much better than um, I heard before. What uh, what about uh, chances for the final? I'm not sure if Croatia qualifies this year. Uh, Croatia came back, but I think that uh, their son is very, 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 very. Very bad, actually. Sorry. <laughs> well, I think Crash will stay in the in, in the semi-final.